This video will show you how to make citations using the Notes and Bibliography Citation System in Chicago Manual of Styles 17th edition, which is very similar to the Turabian Citation Style. When working on assignments for your college courses, you will be asked to provide proper citations for the sources that you used. Citations are important for a variety of reasons. Citing your sources allows you to give credits to others' words and ideas. It helps you to avoid plagiarism and academic dishonesty. It also gives your readers the information they need to track down and access the sources that you used. In the Chicago citation style, there are two different types, author date and notes bibliography. This video will show you how to use the notes bibliography style. The notes bibliography style is used mostly for research papers in the arts, literature, and history. Every time you quote or refer to a source, include a note. Footnotes appear at the bottom of the page where the information is referenced. Endnotes appear together on a single page at the end of the paper before the bibliography. Your instructor will let you know whether they require footnotes or endnotes with your paper. We will show you footnotes in this video. The superscript number refers the reader to the note indicated by the same number at the bottom of the page. In this case, the number 1 indicates the information preceding the number 1 in the text of the paper came from the Chicago Manual of Style 17th edition. When there is more than one footnote per page, they look something like this, listed at the bottom of the page in numerical order. Footnote numbering is consecutive throughout the document and does not restart with every page. The basic components of a footnote are the author's name, first name first, the title, capitalized in headline style. Titles of books are italicized, while titles of articles are enclosed in quotation marks, and publication information enclosed in parentheses. Author information is fairly straightforward. Include the author's name, just as you would say it, first name, last name. Put the word and between two authors' names, commas between the first two authors and the word and between second and third author, if there are three authors listed. Notice that the Chicago Manual of Style uses the Oxford comma. The Oxford comma is a comma used after the penultimate item in a list of three or more items before the word and or the word or. See the three authors example on this slide. If there are more than three authors, list only the first author's name and then the abbreviation et al, meaning and others. The author's name is followed by a comma in the note and then the rest of the notation information. Titles and shortened titles. Book titles are italicized. Article titles are enclosed in quotation marks. Full titles should be used the first time that an item is cited in a footnote, but shortened titles can be used in second and subsequent citations. The short title contains the keyword or words from the main title. An initial A or the is usually omitted. The order of the words should not be changed. For example, daily notes of a trip around the world should be shortened not to world trip, but to daily notes or around the world. Titles of four words or fewer are seldom shortened. The short title is italicized or set in quotation marks according to the way the full title appears in the notation. Publication information differs depending upon the source you are citing. The publication information for a book is, begin parentheses, the city of publication, followed by a colon, the publisher's name, followed by a comma, the date of publication, end parentheses, comma, page numbers, period. The publication information for an article differs slightly. It is not enclosed in parentheses, but includes the journal title in italics, the volume number of the journal, comma, the abbreviation NO period, the issue number, the date beginning with the day if provided, then month, then year, in parentheses, a colon after the parentheses, and the page numbers followed by a period. If the item is electronic, you include the URL, Uniform Resource Locator or Web Address, or DOI, the Digital Object Identifier, after the page numbers, as in the examples here. You do not ever end a URL or DOI with a period. 
in second and subsequent citations of the same item, you need only use the author's last name. Titles may be shortened according to the rules of shortened titles. Page numbers may change according to which page numbers you are referencing in your text. Or you can use IBID if the author and title directly above is exactly the same. IBID is an abbreviation of the Latin word ibidem in the same place, used to indicate that a reference is from the same source as a previous reference. In this example, you can see that notes 4 and 5 both come from the David Harvey article cited at note 3, but the information is from different pages within the article. Note 7 is a quote from a different page in the same article as note 6, but instead of IBID we use the author short title form of citation. It is entirely up to you whether or not to use IBID, but it is best to be consistent. You might ask your professor if you should IBID or not. Chicago Manual of Style in the 17th edition does not encourage the use of IBID, but rather prefers the short form of citation for repeated citations. Here are some examples of footnotes from different items. You will probably be citing a lot of articles in your academic work. Note number one in each example is the first time an item is cited. Number two is the second and subsequent times the item is cited with a shortened title. Notice that when the item is retrieved from a library database, the DOI is included. Note that footnote numbers are indented five spaces from the left margin at the bottom of the page, but are full-sized, not superscript, as they are in the text of your paper. Also, if the note wraps to a second line, that line is flush with the left margin. Book and ebook citations are very similar. Notice that the second and subsequent citations of electronic items do not require the URL or DOI as those have already been included in the initial citation of the item. Film, video, and media are a little different from books and articles. Citations of video and film recordings will vary according to the nature of the material, television show, movie, etc. Any facts relevant to identifying the item should be included. Indexed scenes are treated as chapters and cited by title or by number. Ancillary material, such as critical commentary, is cited by author and title. Note that in the Monty Python example, the citation is of material original to the 2001 DVD edition, so the original release date of the 1975 film is omitted. When citing online media, include a URL as the final element of the citation. If no date can be determined from the source, include the date the material was last accessed. If the material is a recording of a speech or other performance, or if it is a digital version of a published source, include information about the original performance or source. Copies of sources that are under copyright and which have been posted without ties to any publisher or sponsor should be cited with caution. Let's talk about database URLs. Library databases are subscription products and you don't have access to them except through the library's subscription. Your reader may not have access to the same databases you have access to. Using the URL in your browser's location bar will not take your reader to the article you are viewing in the database, even if they have a subscription. Subscription database products are hidden under so many layers of proxy servers and security that most databases provide permalinks for the convenience of their subscribers. Use the permalink whenever possible in your reference list citation. Depending upon the database, you may have to look around to find the permalink, but it should be there somewhere. Also, the permalink is much shorter than the URL in the browser location bar. Microsoft Word has a fairly easy way for you to add footnotes or endnotes as you type your paper. Click References in the menu ribbon. In the References ribbon, click Insert Footnote, which automatically inserts the superscript number at the point in your text and takes you to the bottom of your page with the corresponding footnote number already entered. Enter your footnote citation information here, then go back to typing the text of your paper until you need to enter another footnote and repeat the process. Office 365 has the same operation. The References menu is available between the Layout and Review menus.
For more citation help, see the Chicago Manual of Styles 17th edition at any library reference desk or on reserve at your campus library. Also check out our citation research guide. San Jacinto College librarians are always willing to help. Just ask a librarian.